Hello everyone. Today we have selected a very important question, which is uh, from uh, graph section, which is basically sketching the graph and a cubic graph is provided, which we need to sketch. And this is very important uh, for IGCSE students, uh, both Cambridge and Edexcel. And this is uh, around 10-11 uh, mark question. And uh, if you go through this one, it will be very uh, nice practice and preparation for your exam. Let us go through the question. A part says show that the equation this can be written this format. So this is uh, simple algebra. We have to just multiply first these two and we will get y is equal to x into x will be x square and then x into 1 will be plus x minus 4 into x will be minus 4x and minus 4 into plus 1 will be minus 4. This one and the second factor x minus 2 as it is and next we can simplify this portion and adding the like terms we will write x square and minus 3x and minus 4 and this will be uh, this will be x minus 2 as it is and then we have to multiply these two terms so x square multiplied by x will be x cube and x square multiplied by minus 2 will be minus 2x square and mm, then minus 3x multiplied by x will be minus 3x square and minus 3x multiplied by minus 2 will be plus 6x minus 4 into x will be minus 4x and minus 4 into minus 2 will be plus 8. Hopefully you are understanding this. If you are not understanding then you will have to revise algebra. This is simple straightforward question. Now we'll be adding the like terms again x cube and this will be these two terms. These two terms we can combine and we'll get minus 5x square and these two terms we can combine and this will be plus 2x and plus 8 which is the same as required this one hopefully you understood this part which was a two marks question now the second part says on the diagram sketch the graph of this one which is same as this given equation and indicating the values where the graph crosses the axis so we have to show the graph the the points of intersection for axis mean x and y both we need to show so how we'll be doing that we know this one is uh, this one is what we can write here x minus x minus 4 and x plus 1 and x minus 2 and we will replace these equal to 0 and this implies x will be equal to 4 and this implies x will be equal to minus 1 and this implies x will be equal to 2 this one and our uh, x intercepts will be what x intercepts will be minus 1 roughly I'm taking minus 1 and 2 we can take on this side and roughly 4 we can take on this side and then if we replace x is equal to at x is equal to 0 y will be equal to if we replace in this equation y will be equal to 8 so our this point of intersection will be 8 so we can write this as 0 and 8 0 and 8 will be the coordinates of this point now we have to uh, uh, draw the cubic graph we need to check the values the simpler way how you can check is we need to check what we need to check that the graph is approaching from this side to this minus one or coming from above we know that cubic graph is of this shape if it is uh, if it is having plus uh, coefficient of x cube it will be like this one and it will be in these two coordinates so we will be sketching it like this one like this one moving up to this point then going down passing through this point and then going up like this one 
so this will be our uh, cubic graph which we have uh, shown basically now if you want to double check basically this is done this part is done but for your explanation if you want to know that this side is negative we want to confirm that it is approaching from the negative side so then you will have to write the equation x cube and x cube will be this one and minus this will be 5 and x square which is this one and plus 2 and x and plus 8. Now what we will do, we'll take uh, a little lesser than minus 1 value. We can take like minus 1.2. So calculate this button I'm pressing. Calculate for x is equal to minus 1.2. If we get negative value, it means graph is approaching from negative. We can see this is a negative value. So it means graph is approaching this to from the negative side, from this lower side. Hopefully you understood this. Uh, this is not very important for IGCSC, but uh, for your clearing concept, you should know this. Similarly, if you check for this one, the same thing, if you check for 4.1, you will get a positive answer. Like calculate for X is equal to 4.1 is equal to, you're getting see positive answer. So this side is on the positive side. So this is how we are uh, checking this also. Now for the next part, this was four mark question, which was sketching the graph and you need to show, you need to show one, two, three, and four intercepts or X and Y intercepts you need to show. Now the next is this one B part. They're saying the graph of this has two tangents with a, ten, a gradient of 10. So gradient is 10. Find the equation of these two tangents. You must show all your working and give your answers in the form y is equal to mx plus c. And this is y, this is seven mark question and we have to provide the equations. Now they are saying that gradient is gradient is 10 and we know dy by dx is the gradient so we'll take dy by dx derivative of this one this equation so this will be you know derivative of x cube will be what we will pull the power first 3 and then reduce this power 3 minus 1 and this gradient will be 3 into x square this is how we are taking derivative so derivative of x cube will be 3x square so we write here 3x square similarly derivative of minus 5x square will be minus 10x and derivative of uh, 2x will be plus 2 and constants derivative of 0 so I'm not writing that hopefully you understood this and it is given that the gradient is 10 so we will be writing equal to 10 so this one now we can solve this equation and solving this equation, we will find the x values. So our equations are what? 3x square minus 10x plus 2 minus 10. So it will be minus 8 is equal to 0. And next step is uh, we will have to form the factors. So it will be, we can take mode 5, 3 in your calculator must be having mode. So uh, coefficient of x square is 3 then minus 10 then minus 8 and this is giving us 4 and 4 and minus 2 by 3 change sign and we'll be using this so it will be x minus 4 and this will be 3x and plus 2 is equal to 0 intermediate step we can write x into 3x plus 2 and minus 4 into 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now this is done. I'm erasing this one and next step will be x minus 4 is equal to 0 or 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4 and 3x 3x is equal to minus 2 so x will be equal to minus 2 by 3. So these are the two x values now we need to find the y value so that we can find the point so in the in the equation which equation this equation 
which is given uh, which is this one y is equal to x cube minus 5x square plus 2x plus 8 I will just squeeze this one so that we can have space so let me redo this okay so this will be adjusted here and this one we can take on here okay so now we will be uh, solving this one this will be we will be replacing at x is equal to at x is equal to 4 y will be equal to what we can type this it's already no it's not there so mode 1 we can type this equation so alpha x cube and then it will be minus 5x square so x square and plus 2 and x and plus 8 and we will calculate for 4 so calculate for x is equal to 4 and this will give us 0 so y value is 0 at x is equal to 4 y is equal to 0 so our point will be 4 and 0 and at x is equal to minus 2 by 3 we will find y value and same method we will use calculate for minus 2 over 3 and this will give us 112 by 27 so 112 by 27 this will be y value so our point will be 2 by 3 and 112 by 27 hopefully you are with me and understanding each and everything now we have points this point and um, gradient is 10 which is uh, given gradient is 10 in this one so we'll use the uh, formula and the formula is what equation of line in uh, point slope form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 and we will be using these values values are what we will be using this value and the gradient 10 and we will get what y minus y1 is 0 so is equal to 10 gradient 10 into x minus x1 which is 4 so y is equal to 10x minus 40 so this will be our one equation and the second equation will be what second equation we will be replacing the second point and the second point is this one which we will be replacing and the gradient will be same which is 10 so we can write y minus y1 which is 112 by 27 this is y1 value and is equal to gradient is 10 into x minus x1 which is minus 2 by 3 i am putting in brackets double brackets so it will be y minus 112 by 27 is equal to 10x minus minus plus so 10 into 2 will be 20 over 3 and this should be 10x now further we can shift this to the other side so y is equal to 10x and plus 20 over 3 and plus 112 over 27 and y is equal to 10x plus we will be adding these 112 by 27 is already there so answer plus 20 over 3 will be resulting to 292 by 7 so 292 by 27 this one will be our second equation and these equations we need to write at the proper location provided for the answer so it will be here we will write 10x y is equal to 10x and minus 40 and the second will be 10x and plus 292 over 27 this is the answer for seven marks hopefully you understood this question now you can feel that for this one algebra should be sound and you know algebra is 30 percent of the igcse and cambridge and excel exam so you will have to focus more on algebra and simpl simplification of fractions 
and simplification of algebraic expressions and equations and then you will be able to solve these type of questions differentiation is also involved in this plus sketching the graph and this was a very nice practice and these type of questions if you want more then you will have to subscribe the channel and press bell icon so that immediately you will get notification and recommend this channel to your class fellows and friends and introduce this channel to your respective teachers thank you very much for watching take care bye